Shreveport Police, what's your emergency? Can you send the police to 1301 Madness? Because they shoot Jonathan Robinson. Okay, is he shooting now? Yeah, he's shooting now, man. Hey y'all, this new no, new. No. I apologize for jobs for going live on Rika. I ain't had no business doing all it. My page been blocked, so that's why I'm going live. Yes, I know I was wrong. I ain't have no business going live like that, but. See right there. See right there. Everybody wants to be famous. I'm going to make you famous. Yes. What? I am sorry, y'all. This new new, I'm blocked off my page. So I had to go out live on Morsa Farm. I ain't had no attention to going live like that. I apologize to everybody. Yes. What? No, I, huh? Yes, that's her. Let me see the phone, sir. No. Yes. Yes, Aunt Lola. Yes. Yeah, Rika. Yeah, she on the phone. Yeah. You think I'm worried about the police way right now? Mm -mm. Huh? You think I'm worried about the police right now? No. I take telling you, bitch, I don't give a fuck about no fucking police, you heard? Mm-hmm. Bitch, Pull up right now. Pull up. Okay. Pull up. Pull up. Uh huh. She no. It was just I'm, I apologize because I couldn't go go live on my phone. My page my my phone my page is blocked. This won't this won't be famous. I'm gonna make a motherfucker famous. No. You wanna be famous? I'm gonna make you famous. No. No. Everybody want to be famous, let's be famous today. Okay. Huh? I do. Yes. You tell you I get on these bitches never. No. Bitch, don't. Stop, Jonathan. Stop, Jonathan. Stop. Now, bitch. Game over. Game over. Bitch. Today's day is 4-12-2018. Time now is... 1.58 p.m. Uh, present with me is Jonathan Robinson. Jonathan, what's your date, Bart? 9-3-8-1. All right. Jonathan, I'm not trying to belittle you in any way, okay? You ask everybody these questions that come in here, okay? How far did you go in school? No. Did you graduate? No, sir. No? Are you under the influence of any alcohol or narcotics? I ain't gonna use that up though. I was, I ain't gonna use it up. I was, but I knew what I was doing. No, I'm saying are you high or drunk right now? I mean, can you complete a thought process right now? Yes, you sir. Can? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know where we're at? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, can you read and write? Yes, sir. Do you read along with me, okay? Can you see that? Okay, you are you are hereby under arrest for your part in the offense of second degree murder. I hereby notify you have the right to remain silent. You're not required to make any statement unless you want to do so voluntarily. Anything you say shall be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to consult with your attorney and have him present with you. If you can't afford an attorney, he won't be appointed to represent you. While you're not required to make any statement, you may waive those rights to explain to you. 
and you're given the privilege of saying anything you want to about this case. Now, with this understanding, the way those rights explained to you, do you wish to make a statement to how this happened? You do? Yes. Okay. And I think I need to be told first degree. Why? Because I planned it. I knew what I was going to do. All right. We'll just start from the beginning. Like, you know, when you just say your wife, you know your wife not strong, and you know people mess with your wife because they know she's not mentally stable. That she, you know, there ain't no excuse for what I did, but I didn't hurt her so much, and, and, and I just got tired of people hurting her. She going to mental stages and. It's like, and everybody laughing at her. And I got tired of it. I told them, I don't want to laugh at you no more. I'm tired of hurting her. That ain't no excuse for what I did. I hate it, but man, I'm supposed to protect her. I'm supposed to protect her. That's my job, protect her. Tell me what you mean by that, though. Okay, me and the girl, we have dealings. But it's like a person know me. If you know what push and put buttons and make them go over the edge and make them be suicidal and stuff, and you still do it, it's like. You have no regard for her life. You know she'll go. You know she'll take all these drugs. You know she'll take all these pills and kill herself. And you want to go on social media and bash her, make her look bad, and just. I told her I'd never let nobody hurt her like that no more. I told her. No more. What happened today? I went to, I asked her, why did you keep doing it? I asked her, I texted her, I called her, why? Stop! She wouldn't stop. I told my girl, I said, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to take care of her because she hurt me. And I hurt you, but she then it won't let up and stop messing with you. But what happened though? Shallow. Shallow. Okay, so you get to the house, what happens? I asked her why you steady messing with her. And I told her to go live and tell her, I told her apologize to her. Apologize to who? My girl. Okay. I told her apologize to her. You always want to cry on Audience, you want to famous now? Famous, tell everybody you sorry. Stop with them. And what she say? She started apologizing. And then what? Apologizing, you know. The police came. I don't know. I think I don't know if they were trying to sneak up on me or what. I just seen them by a truck, a red truck, and we start shooting. And it's like it. I 
shoot. Then I, I shot him in the leg. I shot him in the leg. Then I shot him again somewhere else. I can't really remember. I just know. I don't. I know, but I can't just. I, I ain't. I know when the police, I seen the police by a red truck. I shot at them, and I turned around and shot her. Where did this happen at my house? Oh, in the bedroom, the living room. I don't. How I don't. I was. I remember. I don't. You know, it was in the bedroom and the living room. The first room you walk in, out the front door, that room and the bedroom. How did you see the police? I don't know. It's like when I was, I don't know what I was. I was gonna do something. I don't know. It's just like when I opened the door. It's just like I seen a red truck and I seen police and I just started shooting. I don't. What happened after that? After you shot the police, what happened after that? I think I shot him. I shot him. Where'd you shoot him at? I know in the leg, and I don't know well. I never seen no. I never really seen why I shot her. I just know I shot her something, but I seen blood. Did she say anything after that? All right, what happened after that? I just thought I should the police. From where? Like, tell me where you were shooting at the police at. Where were they at? Everywhere. I was shooting everywhere. What were you using? My ass came. How'd you get to the house? In my car. Who was with you? You were by yourself? All right, so when you get there in your car, where do you go? I kick a door in. Which door? Not the one I came out of, but the other one. In the front of the house? The left one or the right one? The right one. Okay. All right, so what happens when you go in the house? Who's in there? Oh, Mama. Her and I didn't know her brother was in there until she said Marcy in the closet. And I told Marcy come out. Did you shoot into the closet? No. I wasn't. No, it's just like it wasn't about it this was about a person hurting a person that I love dearly that I'm supposed to protect. Alright, so, so when you go in the house though, what do you see and where do you go and what happens? I go, I go in her room. Which one is that? That's the bedroom with the back door to it. Okay. I go in that room. And uh, I'm still asking her, like, why is you steady doing it? Why is she like it? So her mama come in there. I don't know what she said. But when she said something, I shot the gun. Because she didn't see me come in there with the gun or nothing. I didn't even know she was in there. Mm -hmm. It's like when she came in, when, she, when I heard her say something, I just shot the gun. At her? No. I ain't never seen him. I just heard him. Her mom. Yeah, where'd you point the gun when you shot it? 
It was like, you know, I just had it pointed at a wall or something. Okay. In the bedroom? Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I never seen it. I just heard them. I just heard her say, I'm going to call the police or something. I just shot the gun. I didn't know what she went or nothing. And I keep going from like. And I was asking her, why is you steady? Why are you steady? Bothering her, why is you, you know she a mental, you know her mental state is not strong like yours is. And she was like, <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know if she thought I'd do it because of our history. But then too, because she like count herself, she was like, after she kept saying, and I'm like, you really don't care, though. She was like, seeing my eyes, something. she was like, Jonathan, are you for real? I'm like, yeah, man, you you, you hurting her. You just did it tearing her down. And I'm trying to build up, but you tearing her down, and it is affecting everybody, bro. And she was like, she was like, okay, okay, or something. And I'm I know when I called, I had called my girl on the phone. And I told her she gonna apologize to you. And she was there saying, What were you talking about? You went live. What was that mean? Okay. I think this was Sunday or something. We went live. Okay, I went live on a Facebook man. But she went live. I went live. She went live. On Facebook. Talking about each other. She know I've been knowing her for probably five years. And she know the buttons. I don't know, man. No, man. Why were you shooting at the police? Oh, I wanted to die. And why'd you give up? Why'd you come and outside? No bullets. And Rico told me to. She was saying what? Rico told me to. So Rico. Alright. When did y'all start dating? Rico, Renita who? Renita. I've been on her for about five years. Has it been an off and on relationship or what? Or what? She never just really... She never really been my girlfriend. But she be, always been like... Y'all ever live together? <laughs> Let me ask you this, just plain and simple. Why did you shoot her? Because she wasn't going to let me be great with Rico. She wasn't going to let me. When you walked into the house, what did you think was going to happen? I was going to kill her. But what, what did you think was going to happen to you after that? Well, they want him kill. You didn't care? At what point did you plan or decide that this is how you were going to handle it? Was it this morning? Was it Sunday? This morning when I woke up and it was steady calling my phone. She was. And I told her this. I just said, stop.
It's like it's like the only way so we could gonna be be great is if she was out the way. That's how I seen it. I ain't seen no other way. How long have you and Sharika been together? Six years or something. You got kids together? <laughs> Where'd you get the gun from? I've been here, that gun. I haven't seen that gun in three years. Where was it at this morning? How'd you get it? How'd I get my gun? Yeah. I went under my auntie house and got it. Here's your hand. What was it doing under her house? Because I been had it for I, I bought it off the street and I been had it under there. I actually forgot it was under there. Because I've been in Houston. And when'd you go and get it? This morning, when I went and bought me some bullets. Where'd you buy the bullets at? What pawn shop on the North Market. Which one? There's a couple up there. The one with all them guns in it. With the how many bullets you buy? Forty. Is that how many comes with the box or what? Twenty a box. You just bought two boxes? <laughs> Why'd you buy two boxes? Cause I wanted to have a shoot out with the police. Did they shoot back at you? I don't, I don't know. I don't, they couldn't see me. Why didn't you step outside then? Cause I was telling everybody I love them before I go. You were on the phone or on Facebook Live? On the phone, my mama kept calling me. At what point did you run out of bullets? I don't even know if I ran out of bullets. So what got you to stop shooting? It's Rico. All right. What windows did you shoot out of? Or doors or whatever? All of them. What were you aiming at? Police. Do you, remember, do you remember how many officers you fired at? Oh, a lot of them. Were you aiming? I just was shooting. I ain't no marksman or nothing. So this morning, <clears throat> you woke up where? At my mama's house. All this phone stuff started happening. Who, whose car is that you're driving? What car? The car that you drove over to the house with. It's my car. That's your car? All right. Where'd you go first thing this morning when you got in the car? El Dorado. What'd you do with El Dorado? I gambled a little bit, trying to clear my mind. Just not, you know. Well, that's why I went El Dorado. Okay. What happened there? I just went gambling, just you know, just trying to pay his time and clear my mind, and you know, that's all I was doing. Okay. Where'd you go after that? Huh? I was gonna say, did it help clear your mind? And to our people steady to the book. And when I left from there, that's when I went and got my bullets. Mm hmm. And I went. Got my gun. And then when you got the gun, what happened? I went to the house. Straight there? Did she know you were coming? Did anybody know you were going over there? I don't know because I told her, okay. Because she stated with calling my phone, I wasn't answering it. Mm -hmm. 
Last time she called. I don't know. Have you told her before today that you had, that you were going to do anything like this? <clears throat> You've never threatened a shooter before or anything else? You're telling me you you killed her because that was the only way that your girlfriend now wouldn't be bothered by this past relationship? Yeah. Were they arguing back and forth? You lived in Houston up until when? When did you come back to Shreveport? Two, three days ago. Why'd you come out of Shreveport? Because we met my girl got into it about that. So over over Facebook arguing, y'all drove back to Shreveport. Oh so me. Where was she at? You left my her girl. there? Yeah. She was having a nervous breakdown. Why did this bother y'all so bad about whatever this whatever she was saying on Facebook? And You ever seen, I don't know, it's like, you ever seen a person that you love so much with all your heart be hurt to the, to their core, to yeah. their core? Mm -hmm. well, I wasn't used to that. I ain't never, I had to. I had to literally go to Houston. I was down. My girl jumped out of her car, left her daughter in the car at the Greyhound Station and stalled, and got out and just started walking in downtown Houston. I had to find her. She's not stable. She's not stable by far. And she can't handle a lot of stuff. It takes over the age. And I told her, I don't make, don't let nobody stop letting people get you where you at. But it's like once she get there, she put blocks up. She don't deal, have nothing to do with the world. She don't, she can't take care of the kids. She can't do nothing. But, so y'all were mad down in Houston. You were mad. Why did you come back to Shreveport? What were you, what were you going to do to solve this issue? By leaving Houston. She put me out. But she didn't put me out. I actually, I left. I ain't going to say she put me out. I left. Did you have another place to go down there? In Houston? Uh-huh. So you come back to Shreveport Sunday, right? Is that what you said? Saturday or Sunday? Yeah. What the day is? Oh, Thursday. Yeah, I've been here for about, yeah, let me see. I see my brother in jail in Houston on Sunday. Yeah, I came back here on Monday. Monday. I didn't even know my girl was down here today. I didn't know. How'd she get up here? I don't know. I didn't even know she was here. Did you tell her something and that's why she came up here? No, she was literally... I called her and told her why I was headed over there. I said, baby. She's like, what? I said, baby. I said, man, I love you, man, but... I said, I'm gonna let everybody just laughing at you, joking on you. I said, baby, I'm gonna make, you ain't gonna hurt no more for people laughing at you. She was like, what you finna do, Jonathan? I said, man, I'm gonna kill them new, cause she always think everything a joke, just like her life is entertainment. And she was like, Jonathan, where you at? And I'm like, man, I say, don't worry about it, baby. They're not going to laugh at you no more. They ain't gonna, nobody going to do nothing to you no more. And I don't know. It was an officer, Rochelle, what, race, race, some. But I didn't know she went to the secret the police to talk to. Her. I But you got on Facebook Live inside the house? 
No, she did. Whose account was that on? That was on her brother account. Whose phone was she on? Her brother's. Did you tell her to get on Facebook or how did? Yeah. That's your life. That's what you like. Go on now. Well, what was she saying that was making you and your girlfriend so mad? You referred to her making jokes on. It's not for what she was saying. But it was more of what my girl, how she felt and what she went through. What are you referring to? Because, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, like I say, my girl is so sensitive, man. You can put a stick pen and blood come out your hand, she'll cry. That's how sensitive she is. And a person know that, and, and if a person know that about her, they would, they know. So tell me about, like, an example of what she did that would upset her. She just was talking about her, talking about her mental state, to my how she go crazy, go on the tent floor. She ain't got, it's just that. Is that true? Yeah. She done been to the tent floor several times. Okay. And. You know, a person know a person. That's just like if I know your weaknesses, something that'll send you over the edge. I use it. That's what she did. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think that uh, Renita did that? Because me and her had sex Friday, and she have always wanted more with me, but it has never been more than just. Oh, where did this happen on Friday? In a house. I thought you were in Houston. No, I was in... No, I left Houston. I came to Shreveport Friday. All right. I came to Shreveport Friday then. Because we had sex Friday and Saturday. Because I went to a party downtown at the Styles Bar Saturday. Was she down there? Yeah. Where's that at? Styles. Styles, okay. Well, did y'all two get in an argument or anything? Did she tell your girlfriend that y'all had sex? Pretty much through social media, being, being messy. Okay. Is that the gist of it? Is y'all had sex, your girlfriend heard about it, and now she was pissed off, and now you were mad at her for putting that out there? What's it, man? If you can hack into a Facebook <clears throat> account, you will see where I went live and Nuno went live. I just hate it when, when she went lit up off my girl. Do you know which Facebook accounts Nuno uses? This would have been on. Bernita Williams. Bernita? You said she went live and you went live. So did you have your phone and both of y'all were on Facebook at the same time? No. I went live and then she went live. So did you post something from the Facebook from inside the house? No, not from her house. I was in Houston then. Okay, I'm talking about today. That's what I was trying to get straight. No, her brother did. Okay, so the only thing that was posted on social media was off her brother's phone. Yeah. Today. All right. When you went to the pawn shop, what did you do when you went in there? I went and got my buddies. What did you ask them for? 762 <coughs> or three point, what is it, three nine for the SKS. Did you specify what kind of bullet you wanted or what? Mm -hmm. You just said, I want that caliber. Mm -hmm. You didn't say I want the cheap ones or you didn't want the good ones or and at that point you knew you were going over to her house to shoot her. Were you going to shoot yourself? I ain't suicidal. Okay. 
I'm going to go back. Um, during the statement a while ago, you said when the police showed up, we started shooting. Who did you mean we? Is there somebody else that was shooting? I don't think so. No, no, no. Well, I was. Okay. You were the only one inside the house shooting? <clears throat> and to your knowledge, you don't know if the police fired back or not? I don't think so. I think I heard some shots, but it was way after the... the that was not first seen when it first happened. Mm -hmm. I heard some probably later on doing the ordeal, but I don't know. Okay. Did you ever co okay. come outside the house? <clears throat> Did you shoot any from outside the house? What you mean? Did you ever walk outside the door and oh. shoot? I think I might have been standing right in the door. Okay. Listen, there's an officer that shot behind the house. How did he get shot? I shot him. From, from what window? The bathroom window. Okay. Did you bust the window out or did you shoot through the window? Shoot through it. Did you have to move the blinds or something? Because there were blinds, I think, in that bathroom. No. Yeah, it was a blind. Actually, I thought he seen me. Well, what, what did you see? I seen like three polices. And where, they were behind the house or what? That's like the side part, I don't know. Right. What did you do when you saw one? I started shooting. So the only time you shot is when you saw the police, like in different places around the house. Yeah, at one point there, there was a couple of them running across the street. Mm -hmm. right. What did they look like? This red t-shirt, blue jeans. I'm in my right mind. Uh, it's I'm just, just a, yeah, I'm just yeah it's stuff. just some stuff I I mean I can remember. Yeah. I know one was red t shirt, blue jeans, this, and I can't really just know what the other one had on. But like the ones who got there at first, you knew they were the police one. Like you said they were standing over there by the truck. How'd you know they were the police? I think I seen a shield. Somebody have a shield or something? At some point, I think so. Well, I think that's what I seen. A okay. shield. Okay. I shot the police too. Bad. Shot in the arm. What were you trying to do when you were shooting at the police? You know, you watch TV, so I actually thought the police would be faster than what they was to come in the house. You thought that they were going to come in? Yeah. I what, thought, what were you going to do when they came in the house? I would have made them shot it. They would have shot me. Why would they have shot you, though? Because I know they would have shot me. I would have been, been shot by police before and they didn't do nothing. But you thought that they were going to come in the house, right? Yeah, I thought that it came faster than me. Like, if, if I said it, the more I said it, I think they wouldn't have came. They were dead strategizing. Yeah. But when they came in the house, why would they have shot you? Because I would have been shooting at them or uh, pointing my gun or something. They would have shot me. Okay. But the longer this stretched out, you thought they were strategizing. What do you mean by that? What do you think they were going to do? They was, they was getting angles, making, they was doing their police work. Okay. And that was not good for you or what? No. Well, what was your plan then when they were getting their angles and coming up with a plan? What was your I was plan? on the phone. I mean, I was at a, I was at a position to, well, I mean, But if they would have come in there, you would have killed them. Like, yeah. All right, but you came on out. 
Where'd you put the gun at? <clears throat> Hollow <Hallway> somewhere. <clears throat> Jonathan, is there anything else you can remember or anything you want to add to your statement before we start? I think I need to be charged with first degree. Do you know the difference between second and first? Yes, I do. I, I knew what I was Tell doing. Me. I premeditated it. I planned it. All right. Elaborate on it. What? I mean. I know what I was doing. I was in my right mind. I knew I was going to kill her. All right. So I, you think you need to be charged with first? Yeah. I ain't, I know what I was doing. I ain't dumb. I ain't dumb by far. Okay. Anything else you want to add? That's it. Okay.